Christmas Day, my father walked out of the family and left us. And left us for another woman. And my life started to fast spin around. And my whole teenage years was a, a chase for approval. And I got mixed up in so many bad things trying to find the approval of people. And uh, I was sure I was never going to serve God. But I missed that train. And for the rest of my life, I would go and come back home drunk in my apartment and pick up my guitar in the middle of the night and sing these old Christian songs in the presence of God would fill the apartment and I was sure I was never going to serve God. When I was 20, I had to run away from Sweden and I, I fled to America. A couple months after I came there, I sat in a hotel room in Tampa and it was a service across the street in a sports auditorium like this and I walked in late and I was sitting in the back and a little while into the message, the preacher pointed at me and asked me to come up on the platform and he, he told me the story of my life and how I was, I was on the run from God. And I felt exposed and he told me to choose God today. And I gave my life to Christ again that day and I changed everything. I served God. I became a youth pastor in America and years later I moved back to Sweden and I met my wife and, and, and we had the opportunity to start a church. And, we didn't have much, but I was happy serving God. All my life they told me I, I would never do that. I told myself I would never do that. And here I had the opportunity, Pastor Brian and Bobby asked him to start a church. And we didn't have much, we, but we had each other. We had our daughter. And my wife got pregnant with another child. And we went very far and we were very happy. I took her on a date on a Friday and we, we sat down and picked out a name. and started talking about a name. And we went later that afternoon to the doctor to do an ultrasound. And, we got the terrible news that the baby was dead. We were small, there was no one else who could preach at that time. And I had, a, I had to preach that Sunday. We had to carry the dead baby with us home on that Friday. On Monday, we had to go back and deliver it. A little while later, she got pregnant again, and we found out it was a girl. And she gave birth to it, and we just had the biggest event ever as a church. We were still very small, and Pastor Brian and Bob were going to come and preach. And on the Friday, I was going to bring Lena and the baby home and I picked him up. I was going to pick him up at lunch. And as we were going to walk out of the hospital, they told us they had to do a little control just to check up. And long story short, we find out our daughter had a hole in her heart. And they told us she might have Down syndrome. And we were hours away from the biggest event we're ever going to have. We were devastated. It's just a year later, earlier that we lost a, gir a girl. We found ourselves in the hospital room. And I could hear those words again. This is it. You'll never serve God. It will never be what you thought. And I remember Lena and I making a decision that night, that afternoon. That whatever happened, whatever comes around, we will serve God. I went and picked up Pastor Brian and Bobby and told them about it. And we went to the theater that night and we came down to the downtown of Stockholm and we saw a line around the building, around the blocks that we'd never seen before. I had to stand up and say, God can heal the sick. God can save you. We had one of the biggest altar calls we ever had. And Pastor Brian and Bobby, they came to the hospital that night and prayed for our daughter. Turned out she didn't have Down syndrome. She's one in a million. Turned out they could fix her heart. She was perfect. I found out that he's faithful. And I have decided to follow Jesus.
Thanks so much, Kevin. What a beautiful sense of God's presence here tonight. Louis and Shelley Giglio, they pastors of Passion City Church and in Atlanta and Georgia. And on top of that, they run a incredible youth college movement called Passion, which literally reaches a multitude of college kids around the world and uh, in America. And of course, passion worship has affected so many people and it's so powerful and so beautiful. And we are very grateful to call Louis and Shelley friends, friends of ours and friends of Hillsong. And I think you should give them a huge welcome to come to the <laughs>